Hey everybody, Matt Brown here. Just want to take a minute to read an article that I wrote back on uh, February 19th of this year. It's called The Metal Detector and the Old Silver Mom. It says, this story is about four teenage kids who were all going to their very first talent competition with an old driver named Harry. He was a quiet man but had no nonsense attitude. It was springtime and the five drove across Clear Creek County in Colorado when suddenly a huge storm arose, striking the area with fierce lightning and rain. Harry realized that he could no longer see to drive with all the rain coming down. He decided to turn down a dirt road with an old sign next to it saying Silver Creek. Harry had no choice but to wait out the storm. All of the kids in the van were naturally tense being stuck in the van. The oldest, a 17 year old blonde haired girl wearing a plaid miniskirt and white button up, seemed to be very anxious to Harry. Why are we stopping here, Harry? Can't we just keep going? I don't want to be late for the talent competition. She already knew what his answer would be and decided not to press, press him any further. No, Sally, I can't see to drive anymore. And besides, we still have plenty of time and provisions. Just settle in until this passes. Lightning suddenly struck and hit close to the car. Sam, a 16-year-old thin, wiry kid with curly hair and glasses, jumped out of the seat. Jen, a 16-year-old black-haired beauty, wearing a simple denim blue skirt and yellow blouse just small. She seemed the most relaxed out of them all. Lisa, a 15 year old with long brown hair and navy blue and a navy blue skirt, was the quietest out of the group. Her thick brown rimmed glasses sometimes hid the fear in her eyes. As the storm dragged on, all of them started looking a little more nervous. Finally, after half an hour, the heavy rain suddenly stopped and the sun started to shine again. The kids decided to get out of the van and wanted to look around at the landscape. It was it was dotted with abandoned buildings that looked like nobody had lived in for a long time. Their attitudes gradually changed about this place as Sam decided to get out his metal detector that he had stowed in the trunk. You never know when you're going to find some buried treasure. The four kids were intrigued about this and having never seen a metal, de metal detector or ghost town before decided to go off on, a, on an adventure. Harry did not mind as he was tired of driving and the storm had made him sleepy. Harry decided he could take a quick nap while the kids went off looking for whatever they could find. Within minutes, Sam had his trusty metal detector suspended by a shoulder strap, turned on and ready to go. He instantly started walking down a long trail in front of them. Sally was the strongest willed and she ran ahead of the group, all the while pointing out areas where Sam just had to try his metal detector. While the four would not be deterred from their treasure hunt, a distant rumble of thunder reminded all of them that there was still a storm in the area. Jen showed her fascination with the old structures that dotted the area, occasionally stopping to examine a bug or markings on a stone. Ever the practical one, Lisa decided to join her. And the story goes on to talk some more about the treasures they find in the, uh, ghost, in the ghost town and how they end up at a silver mine and are able to find some stuff in there. But uh, to check the rest of this article out, just go to needboxnow.com to uh, get my newest articles. Just go to the website and put your email address in the 10 ways to make easy income online and get started today. Thank you. Bye.